guys so this week in lego star wars we got a surprising amount we got a lot of interviews with some designers that reveal a lot of cool things for the future and for some of the past stuff as well as a new look at a set and more so we'll start off with the big news which is that we got our first look at the build for the mandalorian forge set and this comes from an official lego store banner so it's not really a leak um but you know it's quite blurry but it does look quite cool i really do like the set and it surprised me in a lot of ways it's Definitely not what I was expecting, and again, the minifigures are pretty cool. Uh, so overall, a very nice set, and I can't wait to see better images of it. Also revealed for the new LEGO Styles magazine issue, which is only available in a few select countries, uh, the poly bag included is a Ray and BB-8 being the Ray Rise Skulk figure, which is, has been decently rare at this point. It's paid in a few sets, but nothing as cheap as this. And I believe it's also the first time that a minifigure slash two minifigures in a BB-8 isn't a minifigure, but a minifigure and something else have been included. In an interview conducted by Brookset and Jedi News when they talked to the LEGO Styles designers about the May 4th promos, and basically could we see the minifigures return, and it was pretty interesting. They basically said that it's not off the table, uh, but that you shouldn't be expecting it anytime soon, which makes a lot of sense. So next year and possibly even the year after, I think we can expect some vignette builds. The interview asked about the Moff Gideon's Light Cruiser set and why Luke Skywalker wasn't included, and basically the designer said that they didn't know, which was obviously evident and made a lot of sense. There was also a pretty interesting interview done by Brickset to uh, LEGO designers about updating helmets and stuff and their policy behind it. It's pretty interesting, they talked about the 2018 Rebel Pilot helmet and why that wasn't done again. They just talked about how the fans kind of hate it and they also touched on the Stormtrooper helmet which I thought was pretty funny. And they just talked about the feasibility of it and how much they could make. So it's just a very interesting read so I, uh, check out, I recommend checking out Brickset uh, if you want to read that article for yourself. And to end on a bit of a funny note, Walmart uh, published the Bad Batch shuttle to their site uh, but said that it wasn't pre-ordered and it was just available to buy right now so everyone obviously rushed in and got it only for, their, for them to just change it to pre-order so it's pretty funny uh, that that happened which was obviously going to happen because uh, Lego stepped in and they didn't really realise their mistake. Uh, but talking about next week, uh, I'm not expecting much, I'm sure there'll be stuff like Maybe another interview but with designers, I'm not sure when those go on because no one's been really publicly talking about that uh, that I've noticed so you know not expecting much you know we got well, we also got the Bad Batch episode coming soon forgot to talk about that and we also got a Vision special look but you know they're kind of unimportant uh, for LEGO Star Wars and nothing much came interesting out of them. Not to say they weren't bad of course uh, but you know in terms of this week in LEGO Star Wars they don't really matter. Evidently that brings us to the end of the video and the end of this week in LEGO Star Wars So I really hope you have enjoyed this episode and uh, catch next week's one because I'm sure there will be something However, yeah, let me know your thoughts about this news down below. How that will be of today I hope you enjoyed this video. Please remember to like and subscribe. That'll be your folks. Goodbye <laughs>